Hello friends, this is Sam from fightforex.info and I am very happy to present this video today where I am going to talk about how you can start a prop firm in four simple steps with zero development cost. Recently, me and my team have built a hosted solution for our FX report software which has really drastically reduced the time it takes for you to go live. So now the process is so simple that you can literally set up an entire prop firm with front office and back office in four simple steps. So let's look at this before we get into the steps let's review and revise our understanding of a typical setup or an uh, or entire setup of a new prop firm operation. The prop firm has two critical components. One is your front office, which is your marketing site and payment processing, and your back office system, which is everything including account provisioning, trading activity collection and monitoring, admin panel for administrators to add, remove users, create new programs, etc., etc. Your main database that holds all your user and trading information. Your emailing system that connects or alerts your users when there are violations or breaches as well as when they reach their targets so all sort of communication is handled by this emailing function and then the last but not the least the user dashboard matrix and display system a new prop firm typically because of the budgetary constraints has to work with already established brokers so there is also this component where you have brokers like XM, IC Markets, XNES, F FX Pro and whatnot, and your customers which are the traders. So this is a typical setup of a new prop firm where traders come into your marketing site, they pay for your challenges, the challenges are set up in your back office but then the automation automatically creates the accounts starts monitoring the trading activity, builds the dashboard for the traders, keeps in touch with them through the emailing system, and this entire setup is fully automated using our FX report software. So how to get this actually done in four simple steps is what we are going to see, and we are actually going to see a demo of each step in this video. So let's go from here to step number one, which is to set up your front end site with WordPress. Why WordPress? Because that's the most commonly used these days. It provides many plugins, ready themes. So all your development effort is really taken out. And keep in mind, our goal here is to set up a prop firm quickly and with zero development cost. So all these things you can do yourself and hence the development cost is really very minimal or zero. So the first step is to create that front end site with WordPress. So this we're gonna keep calling this either front office or front end, but it's nothing but the site where you advertise your challenges. Okay, this can be easily built with WordPress CMS. CMS stands for Content Management with shopping cart plugins to accept payments. That's another advantage of using WordPress because you can readily use some shopping cart and you'll see down the line, we will be demonstrating this with WooCommerce. Um, and other advantages, there are many free as well as paid WordPress hosting providers. So you can pick and it's 
very easy to set up, really click, uh, point and click kind of a thing. So we're going to see a demo of this step. The next step is, once you create your front end, the next step is to create your back office. This is where FX report software comes into picture. And you can build your prop from back office with really few clicks. Okay, and I will demonstrate that part as well. Why this is made possible is now we have released our hosted application. So we host it, we give you the software already hosted, you start using it, there is no development cost, and this is software as a service model. There is an, no upfront development cost, and this is a hosted solution, and if you decide to use it, so one month you can try it for free, and I will show you how, but if you decide to use it, there is a $100 non-refundable setup fee. But that comes only when you have tested it for a month and you decided to use it. And after that, it is a simple 8 to $10 per active account per month model. So we have volume discounts. We can negotiate on this price. But typical model is about $8 or $10 per account per month. Once this setup is done, of course, the payment and all this comes afterwards, but you can jump into step three without the payment in the first month itself when you're testing our software, and I'll show you where to go and how to set up. But once you have the admin access, all you have to do is define your challenges and programs, right? The way you do this is also something I will demonstrate in this video. So you will have to log in into the admin panel and you set up your first program in the back end. Once the program and the challenge is set up, the only thing now left is to take your front office and take your back office and integrate them. So this integration is the fourth and final step where you essentially have your traders come into the front end side. They go through your marketing pages. Once they decide to join the challenge, they go through your payment processing, which is also your setting up in step number two. And as soon as they complete the payment, I will show you how the integration works from front office to back office, where the account creation starts and everything is done automatically. The email is sent to the trader as well as administrator saying the new account has been created and all that process is automated from that point on. So this integration step is the fourth step. So let's go and start looking at each step one by one. Okay now, so coming back to step one, which is to create the front-end WordPress site. You can get a quick, easy WordPress host anywhere. Uh, I'm going to use this. It's uh, URL. I will put it in the description of the video as well. And many of you may already have this, so you can directly skip to step two. But in case you want to set it up, let's just create, pick any hosting account. Uh, cloud hosting, shared hosting, doesn't matter. Most of these will allow WordPress. I'm going to log in to my existing account. And once you have set up this account, you will have options to host your domains. And let's assume that you have hosted your domain. If you don't, they will give you a temporary domain to use as well. So it doesn't matter. The next step is easily you can create, um, go to application installer, create a WordPress. So I'm going to say install WordPress. I'm going to do this on my site here. I'm going to call it test WordPress one. Uh, user is this, uh, password. I'm going to pick some password. And then I'm going to 
say automatic data creation. So this step is really not exactly how it's going to be for you. I'm just showing you because it's one of the easiest platforms to build a WordPress site and just say install WordPress. Just make sure you remember your admin username and password. So the script is now behind the scenes creating the WordPress site. Okay, so our WordPress has been set up. First thing to do is to go in and log in. Um, It will ask you to confirm your email address. This email is correct. Boom. So your basic WordPress site is already ready. It is monitorland.com test WordPress one. There's some sample hello world um, post is already there. First thing you do is to create a um, simple e-commerce site. So for that, we're going to pick a theme, you can pick any uh, theme that you like. We'll just pick some e-commerce theme. Um, let's say, okay, we'll just pick any for the time being. And we say install. And then we say activate. So now our basic uh, site theme has been set. So it's like this. Um, and like I said, there's hundreds of themes to choose from. The goal of the video is to not waste time with that, but you can install. The next thing you need is shopping cart, right? So let's add a new plugin. We say WooCommerce and we install WooCommerce. You can use any of these WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway, PayPal, you can choose any of these. All of these are very easy to integrate with the back office. So this is now installed. We activate this. We'll put some uh, address here, one, two, three, one, two, three, test, poster code, one, two, three, four, five, city, test, city, uh, and just say continue. Oh, country, we'll say United States, United States, let's say New Jersey, and continue. And we are going to say computers, electronics, other, say software, doesn't matter. Continue. We'll have downloads, subscriptions, memberships, uh, customizable products, and so on. Oh, but these are paid, so we'll actually have to go back and deselect them. Oh, never mind. So, how many products? One to ten. We are not and say continue. Um, oh, 
Then they are saying what team. There's some paid teams, there's some free teams. Uh, okay, for the demo purposes, we'll just choose um, free storefront. So let's go ahead and choose that. And then we continue. So now we have um, all the basic setup is there. So let's see, would you like to add? I'll do this later. Add products. So Products in this case are nothing but our challenges. So I will say test program one. This is the challenge and this name is important. Uh, we'll explain this later. Uh, this is a test challenge. Um, 10K starting balance, 5% uh, daily drawdown limit and some more details we'll add later. Um, this is a simple product um, and the price, regular price, we're going to put zero for now because we're going to test it. So we'll just put zero and say publish. Okay, so now we got a basic site with one product in it. Let's go to the shop and there it is, our first test program one and we can add it to the cart. We can view the cart and then we can do checkup. Now, we're gonna stop here because the purpose of this demo was to show just how easy it is to create a WordPress site, install WooCommerce plugin and set up your challenges. Of course, this is done in a very crude and uh, very basic manner. But of course, when you set up, you can set up the um, products in a much more attractive and much more user-friendly fashion. Okay, so that takes care of our first step is to have the front-end site. Of course, you will not be having a site like this. This is very basic. You will have other pages like your terms and conditions, your uh, other marketing pages here where you explain your company more, the About Us page, you will have your um, uh, links to the social media and all that. So that is of course not the focus of this video, so we're not gonna spend time on that. So this is where we're gonna conclude our step one. Just keep in mind that how we created the product with the name test, um, challenge test program one. This is important because this is what links to the back end. And I'll show you in the next step, which is setting up the back office. So this is your front office or front end website. Now we are gonna to go to step number two, where we are gonna set up the back office software. Okay, so let's look at now step number two, where we are going to set up the back office. And because we have decided to release our hosted solution, there's nothing for you to come and purchase from us or get set up on your own website. Of course, we can do that too. But the focus of this video is to how to show you to use the hosted solution. For that, go to this URL, fightforex.info slash fxreportsv6 slash ci, and just create yourself an admin account. Okay, so put in your name, your um, email, preferred user ID, password, 
uh, the phone number is optional. Give us your phone number if you need to, your company name, and hit register. Once you hit register, you will get an account creator, which is an administrator account that you can then use to set up your own programs. Okay. So, of course, I'm not going to go through that here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and just log in with the one I already have, which is this one, right? Now, this is your back office, okay? And again, this particular site is a demo site, okay? So you can come here and use it for testing purposes and just set up your full integration if you want to, or if you are, if you have already done that, you can contact us and we'll basically set up a similar site or a back office solution on a separate semi-dedicated server for you once you pay the $100 setup fee. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to continue to use this. And let me show you how you can set up your program. So when you get a back office solution like this, first page is all your users, which are your traders. You can add manually if you have to, but this is not needed if you set up the automation. And then you have your programs. The way this is set up is you have users. Users have trading accounts under them. And then each trading account is part of or under a program, right? So remember how we created in the first step, we created the front end, which was, oops, not the test, TP1, I believe. So how we created the product, which was test program one. So this is the only requirement is that this needs to match with the challenge you're setting up in the back office. So this in the back office, when you say add program, you have to make sure it matches perfectly. Test program one. So you're gonna create an account with initial balance of 10,000 under this program. Max calendar days is 30. The admin email where the email should be sent when there is a breach is this. Of course, the trader will also get a copy of the email. So this is just your administrator email. Minimum allowed calendar is, let's say, five. Again, admin email, we're going to put the same. Overall balance drawdown allowed is 5%. The email for this breach is this. Overall equity drawdown is 5%. Same thing, daily balance drawdown, let's say I will allow only 3%. Do I want to include floating profit or loss? Yes or no. Again, an admin email to send the breach notification. Growth target is 10%. Admin email, again, I'm gonna use this. Admin email to receive new application. So this is when a new order is created on your front end, meaning somebody comes and buys these test program. Of course, the price setup is zero, so but you will have your price for forty dollars, whatever, two hundred dollars, whatever it is. Number of retakes allowed. I'm going to say two, and this is a test program. So this is just a back office. I'm going to hit save. So now my test program is created. So now my step two is done. See how simple it is? Just create an account, log in, go to programs add a program. That's it. Your back office challenge is now set up, right? So we have actually taken care of steps two and three in literally less than five minutes, right? And now comes the most critical part, which is to integrate this front office, which is this one, with your back office, which is this one, right? So to do that, what we have to do is log back in into your WordPress admin area, go to WooCommerce,
and go to settings go to advanced and in advanced you create what is called as a webhook so we create a new webhook we call it test web hook for demo we say this is active and this has to be used when a new order has been created right somebody has purchased the challenge and the URL this is the key is order slash create web so this URL needs to be used while you are testing this will be the URL but when you have your own site your own URL that will be different this is again just for you to show the testing that goes here and then there is a secret key for the purposes of this I'm going to basically um, use a key that is used by everyone uh, that is using this test site but when you have your own site the, the key will be different and that key uh, we will generate for you once you have paid the hundred dollars set up fee and once you have created your own uh, server for now we'll use the key from our common solution leave everything else and save webhook so I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to search for that key and come back and uh, then restart the video. Okay. Okay. So I found the API key and I put it here and I'm going to save this webhook. So the purpose of the key is to make sure the communication is secure because the key will be something only you will know. So nobody else can uh, access this URL. Um, that it's an unauthorized user. Once we have set up all this, essentially the whole thing is now integrated end to end. Well, it is that simple. Okay, so now we are back for the final uh, chapter of this whole uh, setup, which is to now check the end to end integration. Um, you will see I have made few cosmetic updates to the front-end site. I'm calling it Sam's Prop Firm Demo. Um, it's the same site uh, that is shown in the first uh, few videos. I just made few cosmetic updates to make it look uh, a little bit better. Instead of Hello World, I created a front-end page and gave some information. So. The focus of the video is just to demonstrate the end-to-end -end integration now. So we have already seen how to set up the front end using WordPress, how to use FX report software to set up the back end. We have set up a demo challenge, which is under this section, which is evaluations. Um, sorry, it's in the shop, which is also uh, set up using the WooCommerce platform and we have set up this test program one and the test program one is just another demo it's a 10k starting balance 5% daily drawdown uh, blah 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 so your traders or users will come to a page like this obviously it should look much much better than this this is just a demo page but this is just to demonstrate the functionality anyway so they will pay for this program for now, I've kept it $0 because obviously you just want to show the functionality, but you will have a full end-to-end -end, uh, payment gateway set up through WooCommerce. Um, then they'll go to view cart, go to proceed to checkout, and then they will enter their billing details. So let's say I am Sam Sam, last name Sam Sam CH, Company name, blah, blah, blah. United States, house number, house number 1234. Uh, so street address 234, 
test street uh, town let's say test city um new jersey zero eight eight zero seven uh phone number let's say two three four 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 some dummy number email address so this is where i'm gonna receive the account so i will just say monitorline limited at gmail.com i'm not gonna pick the different shipping and i'm gonna say place order and it says order received order number 46 so the user has now completed the order processing the software will work in the background and um, ideally it should create and send the order details so now we are receiving various different emails from WooCommerce um, here uh, Sam's prop from demo we have received it is a test program one challenge uh, quantity two okay <laughs> um, but ideally they'll just be ordering one and in few minutes we should also get the uh, trade account details okay so it took the system a few minutes but finally the new account email has arrived uh, our demo site is hooked up with INFX uh, we can set it up with any broker that you want um, as long as the broker allows account creation from the terminal so now let's log into this um, INFX with this newly created account Okay, so we'll start the INFX terminal. And we go to log into the trade account. Here is the user ID, uh, sorry, the account number. And the master password. So incoming mail. This is the $10,000 account that just got created. That's how the end-to-end -end setup works. Really simple, four simple steps, and you can be online in no time. If you have any questions, um, feel free to contact us at this URL, fightforex.info, and then go to contact, and feel free to contact us through our Facebook page. The best way is to, to through Facebook page because um, then we can uh, chat and use the Facebook Messenger to uh, communicate. So um, hope you like this video. Hope you find this software useful. And uh, please do get in touch with us. Any questions, uh, concerns you have. Uh, FX reports can really make your life very easy if you um, want to set up a prop for them. Again, there are two options available. One is a hosted solution. We highly recommend this because in this case, we do everything for you. We host it. We um, update the software we customize it to your needs and we charge only eight dollars per active account per month and then if you want to host it on your site then that option is also there please contact us and we can discuss further thank you